Hello everyone, it's Homestar92, and welcome to part 63 of Let's Play Earthbound. No thank you, do not want. Do not want. Thank you. In the last part, we were sent here from Saturn Valley to get something off of the meteor that fell. And I think we're going to hopefully be doing that. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. One enemy in this part, fine. If you have to fight more than one, it can be pretty awful. I mean, especially if you lose both Ness and Pooh. That's why I gave Paula my Horn of Life, because... Yeah, you don't want them both to die, trust me, from my last take. They both died. If you can get through here, this is one of the places where I would recommend, no matter what your level, do not fight anything. No matter what. Like, no matter what level you are, you will be underleveled for this part of the game. It's made to be super difficult. So, run away whenever you can. Fortunately, I've been fairly lucky so far. That doesn't mean I'll stay that way. But I must say, it's worked out nicely. Last time it took me 10 minutes to get to this point, and it's took, taken me a minute and a half this time. I like this. There's something shiny that you can reach. Yes, I would love to try and get it. Now, the first clearing you find, go to it and teleport beta. The only problem is, there is a lack of places that are good for teleporting. I shouldn't have teleported to 1F, but whatever. Teleporting anywhere will be fine, because it will give me a wider stretch to teleport with because at least there's still no enemies in town anyway we need to go to Saturn Valley so now that we're here I guess we could stay at the hospital just to make sure we're all full there's not really a need the game will heal us very soon actually but whatever oh man I got so lucky there that part of the game is really difficult just believe me I made it look easy but it's really difficult anyway go get some rest and then they'll do something fantastic yeah like I said I guess I shouldn't have done that it was a waste of time oh well we're not even three minutes through yet so, no, well, now we're three minutes through. Right. Finally, it's complete. The Phase Distorted version 2 is equipped with two new features. They can repair your biological functions and save your progress. There's just one thing, though. Might not be able to make return, so... Yeah, I'm ready to go. Since I've got save states, I could redo this if I had to. It would be for the best without careful preparation. You know what? There is one thing I want to do first. Just because you can never do this enough times. Ever. I'm going to call Dad. Trust me, you want to save before you go in here because this is a point of no return. Once you do... Once you go to the next part of the game, you will never be able to return to Eagle Land as it is now. So, let's call Mom. Poor thing, she doesn't even know that what's about to happen. Of course, neither do you, unless you've played the game before. So, good. At last, the time has come. Are you ready? Yes. Remember, the phase distorted version 2. Yes, I know. Don't be afraid, get right in. Awesome. And, where are we going? To this weird place. With cool music. Specifically, All You Need Is Love by the Beatles. Or at least the first four notes. Played in several keys. And the Star Master. Greetings, so you're finally here. Excellent. You are truly excellent. There's only a little time left. We'll give you the last power. Who became conscious of Starstorm Omega? Yes. Too bad it's pretty useless by this point of the game. Kidnapped I was. Boing! Kidnapped. 
bad guy gone. Zoom, where? To the past. Ding ding. And modern art. And what's this? Another phase distorter? The phase distorter has been completed. We could finish it quickly because of Mr. Saturn's incredible skill. Gygas is attacking, but he's attacking for many years in the past. We must work with the past and fight, but... But what? In order to defeat Gygas, who is attacking from the past, you must warp the past. This can be done by way of the phase distorter 3, but it cannot warp living things. Life is demolished. Wait, 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 what? Say what now? So, we have to break our spirit away from the bo our body. Essentially, we have to die and go on to the afterlife. Sweet, sign me up. Do you still wish to face? This is... Well, we've already reached the point of no return. No point in holding back now. We accept this one only. We may not be able to return to the current form. Yes, if it's to save the world, we have to. Ready? Alright. I hear a drill. And... I guess he is extracting our brains with a drill somehow I don't think that's called extraction I think that's called destruction and he has to do it to his own son that must be hard anyway I'm, I'm just I'm not gonna question Nintendo logic I've learned that by playing Zelda and Donkey Kong but Ness, Paula, Pooh, Jeff. So we're robots now. Only a few people know of my amazing courage, but we'll save an immense number of people. Well, I bet we look awesome as robots, man. It's gonna be like the coolest thing ever. Can't wait. I hope I have a freaking laser beam. Very little is cooler than lasers. Except for sharks with freaking laser beams on their freaking heads. And you're you're joking, right? We're garbage cans. Uh, but, but that what? I I don't understand. You confront the ultimate Octobot. He is very strong. So. Aw, oh, you jerk. Now it's personal. Although in theory, I don't know why I would even be able to use the ultimate jerky, because it's a food item. And considering that I'm a robot, I shouldn't have the ability to eat. I mean, I'm pretty sure eating is a function of life. Wild and wooly shambler. Well, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run away. And I'm gonna be underleveled when I fight Gygas. And, what's up here? More enemies is up here. The nuclear reactor robot. Awesome. It's like this atomic reactor robot. Only um, only nuclear. At least his mysterious thing didn't work. Just don't refill his HP. Yay, he's dead. And he probably would have on the next turn. I'm glad I got him dead. Yeah, this is gonna be a pain. If I run out of time, I'm probably gonna... If I run out of time, I'm going to cut, because I need to do time to do my outro. So keep that in mind. Man, this is ridiculous. Just die. Please. Yay! I won. Okay. Actually, I'm just going to use Life Up Alpha for Paula. And then I'm going to call this a part since I'm about to be attacked by that thing. So, as always, if you like this part, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. I am Homestar92, and I'll see you guys in the next part.
in which we may reach Gygas's lair. Who knows? Anyway, till then, I am Homestar92. Later.